Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to remove the radiator on this 2011 Kia Sorento. And this is the four cylinder engine. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so for the first things that I'm gonna be removing off of here is this 10 millimeter here, along with the one over on this side. And I'm also gonna be removing the clips right here along the front. So once I once I remove those, I'll let y'all know what's next. All right, so I have all these removed along here. Now I'm gonna move over to the side. There is a eight millimeter located right there, and there's gonna be one on the other side in the same location. And then we're gonna be going underneath here and taking loose all of these clips along the front here. So you're just gonna take this, all these ones like that all the way to the other side and then I'll let you know what is next. Okay, so I now have all the clips removed from down there along with the screw that was on this side and the screw that's on the other side of the vehicle. The other side was actually a 10 millimeter. This one was an eight, so two different screws. Um, so now I'm gonna go see about pulling this whole front bumper cover off the vehicle. Start here at the corner and pull out. All right, so what I was doing with the screwdriver was actually raising this tab up a little bit, just enough to get it to slip over that little piece right there. So now I have that loose, I'm gonna try to continue working the bumper off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this headlight and see if that allows me to unhook these clips under here. All right, so it's two 10 millimeters holding the light on and then you can, there's a clip you can undo to take the headlight out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side of the vehicle as well. All right, so on this headlight over here, there's the two tens that's on the top. There's also a 10 millimeter that is located right there that that holds this headlight in so i'm going to undo that and then undo the plug so then this headlight should be able to be removed from this area here so i'm going to do that and then i'll be right back all right so now with that headlight removed i can come back to this side so the reason why i was removing the headlight is so that i would have access to the bottom here and i'd be able to raise this up in order to slip over these little hooks that are holding the bumper on. So 
I'm gonna should be able to raise that up and then this bumper should be able to come straight off. So here we go. So now that the bumper's removed, I'm going to start removing some of this stuff along here in order to start working on getting the radiator out. So first going to be removing these little side pieces here. This looks like it's already loose. So take that out of the way. It's another one on this side. You just have to unhook it and pull up. that out the way now I'm going to be removing this piece right here that's held on by I believe those are eight millimeter screws and then this little piece right here that is held on by Phillips screws so I'm gonna remove that and also remove these two brackets right here that's holding on the radiator and then I will show you all what's next All right, so now that I have all that removed, I'm going to be removing uh, this condenser from the radiator itself. And in order to do that, you need to pull in on this hook here, like so, and just raise it up a little bit. And then on this side, there's another one right here. So just raise that up on both sides. So before this is actually able to undo itself from the bracket, there is a 10 millimeter screw right inside of right there that's holding these pipes onto the radiator. So that needs to be removed. But before I remove that, I'm going to go ahead and undo this hose from right here. And if your system does have coolant in it, then you're gonna to want to drain your coolant before you do, before you disconnect that hose. But for me, everything's already drained out of here pretty much. Um, but if you do need to remove the coolant from this vehicle, the the area where it's located is right there. That's what you need to unscrew in order to drain the coolant. So anyway, I'm going to undo this hose from here and get that out of my way. And then I'll show you what's next. Now I'm gonna be using this hose clamp tool right here, but if you don't have this tool, then you can go ahead and use, um, you could use some pliers like these or these, 
and just go inside and go underneath in this manner right here and get to, sorry, right there and get to that clamp from inside. So you can do it either way, but I'm just gonna be using the hose clamp tool. All right, so now with that removed and the hose out of my way, well, almost out of my way. All right. Now I have the hose out of my way, now I'm gonna go ahead and get to that 10 millimeter screw. should be able to move this condenser a little bit better. So for now, we're just gonna leave that in place and I think we're gonna get that uh, taken loose a little bit later. For now, we're just gonna take off this hose. And just give that a little twist, it comes loose. And now I'm gonna work on actually removing the fans from this vehicle. So in order to remove the fans, there is a 10 millimeter there. And all right, so once I'm done with that one, that screw there, the wiring harness is located right inside of here and it's a two-sided harness. And in order to undo it, you need to pull this bottom part loose right here. And then the top part right there needs to pull out. And I'll show you what that looks like once, it's, once I unplug it. All right, so there it is, unplugged, two ends plugged into the adapter right there. So now that I have that undone, I'm gonna take loose the two 10 millimeters and then I will show you what's next. All right, and the next 10 that needs to be undone is this one right here. And that just removes the hose bracket. So set that aside. And now we should be able to pull the fan up and out through this opening here. Also, I forgot one thing. This fan is held in by a clip 
right down right there that right down here that you need to open up in order to pull that out and there is another one right there so i'm gonna do that and the fan should be able to come out All right, and so once you get it up so far, there's another little um, wire clip that needs to be on, taken loose from right there. Right there. Now removed. All right, so just a few more steps to get the radiator out. The next thing that I'm going to be undoing, taking a loose, is the lower radiator hose located right there and you can either use pliers like we did before uh, or a hose clamp tool and then the next things are these two uh, are these two transmission lines right here and when you undo those they are going to leak some fluid so you're going to want to have some type of drain pan or something underneath it to catch that fluid but it's not going to be a whole lot but you do want to catch it on something so i'm going to take those loose and then next we'll work on getting this radiator out of here all right so now i have all those lines undone taken a loose and i also when i took these lines loose i took loose the coolant line first then I took loose this line, uh, transmission line at the bottom, and I had this cup underneath it, so that way nothing would spill down, because I, I hate messes. Uh, so caught everything in the cup there, and then I took loose this top one, and everything just drained out into this cup, and then I plugged it off with a piece of paper towel. And this is everything that came out, as you can see all that down there is just water so no mess was made so now i'm going to work on getting this radiator out of this location
Alright, so I'm going to try to give you a tip on how I was able to get this radiator out of here. And then I'll show you the process of getting it back in. But what I had to do was this little hook that's in right here. I had to raise the right side of the radiator up over here. I had to raise that up in order to get that to slide over. And then I was able to pull it back and then raise it up and get it out from between this bracket here and there so once it raises up the whole thing slides over and then you can bring it up so i'm going to try to use that same method to get the other radiator in and we'll see how it goes Alrighty, so that is the full length of how long it really takes to get the radiator back in. I didn't cut anything out. You just really have to, like I said, raise the right side of the radiator up in order to get... I had to slide, slide the radiator in this way in order to get it on this bracket here. And then the bottom, once I had this in, I straightened everything out. And in order to get the bottom bracket in, down, where's that? Right there. Okay, there it is. Right there, I had to uh, raise the condenser up. And then I was able to push it into that bracket and lock it into place. 
and then for this side i got this side locked in as well right there and down at the bottom now for the one right down in there i had to take a screwdriver and pry it open in order to get it to go down in the bracket so anyway that's pretty much going to be it for this video i'm going to go ahead and get all everything uh all the hose clamps put, every, put everything back together but i just want to show y'all exactly how i went about taking out this radiator and getting it back in so hopefully this video was helpful and if it was please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more car related content thanks for watching and have a great day